And welcome back, everybody, to Wheelspin TV's live coverage of the Rolex 24 at Daytona. This is your 5 p.m. update in the race. First up, the standings in the race, starting with the Daytona prototype class. Uh, top in the class right now, Memo Rojas of Chip Ganassi Racing, followed in second by Scott Pruitt of SunTrust Racing, Ricky Taylor of Gainsco Bob Stallings Racing, Max Angelini of Brumos Racing, and finally, wrapping up the top five, John Fogarty of Michael Shank Racing. In the GT class, Emil Asentado of Speed Source, Jeff Segal also of Speed Source, Sylvain Trembley of Stevenson Motorsports, Jonathan Bomarito of Dempsey Racing, and wrapping up the top five of GT is Robin Lydell of Stevenson Motorsports. That's your standings right now. As of 5 o'clock in the race, we're about 90 minutes into the 2011 Rolex 24 at Daytona. Josh Lewis joining me to give me some highlights of the race thus far. Yeah, we've got, uh, as of right now, a uh, uh, one of the Ford Delara um, DP cars actually just had a pretty big uh, situation in the dirt uh, in the infield going in from, uh, uh, from the back straight into turn one. And that was a big enough issue to put a lot of dirt on the track. Um, I actually did not get a chance to see which car it was. Uh, I want to say that it was Duran Racing, actually. Um, <clears throat> but again, I'm not positive. It could have been... Well, very well could have been Michael Shank racing because uh, it could have been Star Wars Motorsport. I'm not positive. Uh, I didn't get to see it uh, as it happened, but it's a lot of dirt on the uh, on the track, um, and uh, it's it's had a couple people uh, spin out already or you know start to kind of uh, go through it a little bit. But um, I do have some updates. Darren Law uh, talked to his father uh, recently, <clears throat> and his father told me that. Uh, Darren is reporting that the car is good, is in good shape for Action Express racing. Uh, they're a little down on horsepower, uh, they feel, but with the with the Porsche V8, but it's a good car. They've got re reliability on their side, and he's confident that uh, they'll be in the uh, in the dogfight at the end. Um, also, I've got reports that uh, in the DP um, class that uh, some people, some of the teams are actually reporting chunking with the new tires. Now, if you're not familiar with that, that is basically taking a huge divot out of the tire. Um, so some people, were, yeah, some people were reporting. Uh, some of the teams are reporting that. <clears throat> um, uh, and we just had one of the uh, uh, the zero seven Camaro and GT uh, just spin out because of all that dirt on the infield there. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, yeah, some DP teams are saying that they have chunking issues with the new Continental tires right now in the race. And this is what I said earlier that we, you know. That uh, as much preparations, as many preparations as you do, you know, it's not going to make a difference until you actually, you know, are in the race. So this is um, a problem that's being report. reported by more than one team. Multiple teams are reporting this problem with chunking. Yes, yeah, mo multiple teams, and uh, don't know exactly which teams as of yet. Um, uh, but yeah, I mean, hopefully we can get that information out to you guys. Uh, but yeah, that is the report right now, and. Uh, Patrick Long is reading is leading. I'm sorry, with the best lap speed of 127.627 uh, average speed per lap. Uh, that was his best speed thus far. So that's uh, it's very high, it's <laughs> very fast, and that's what I was telling you earlier or yesterday, man. It's going to be a fast track and a fast day. Absolutely. Now, one quick question about that chunking issue: Is there any possibility that the teams will be able to use a different compound of tire available for the race? To if they're if they're having serious problems that would be detrimental to the vehicles, are there other tires available for this race that they can be switching out to use? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you've got you've got one for wet and one for dry. That's it. All right, well, so, we'll see how that plays out then as the night goes on. We could start to see some serious, interesting uh, things happening with those tires if there really is a problem there with chunking on the tires. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, so that's pretty much everything we have for this update. I uh, want to remind everybody to be back with us at 6.30 p.m. Eastern for our full-court press coverage of the Saturday evening uh, coverage of Wheel Spins tw Rolex 24 at Daytona updates. Want to remind everybody to visit live.wheelspin.tv for the live feed and wheelspin.tv slash chat to get to the chat room. Also, if you want to send us an email, send it to wheelspin at wheelspin.tv. We will read listener comments on the air as they come in. Again, wheelspin at wheelspin.tv. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for this update. We'll see you back here in 90 minutes.